Hello everyone, welcome to another video. I'm Randy and this is a vinyl finds and vinyl purchases video plus one CD. Uh, I'm kind of behind in my listening, but I haven't been behind in my buying, so there is kind of a backlog. And I haven't done one of these for a while, so I, I cut it down to not all the ones I've, I've got recently. So uh, let's get started. The first one I'm gonna show, a lot of people have uh, chimed in on this and that's the one CD I got, and that's the Bruce Springsteen, Only the Strong Survive, the uh, Jerry Butler tune. And that was a little bit of the problem I had with it. I had heard some of the songs before I bought, this, bought the CD, so that's why I decided not to get the album. I think it's gonna be something that, well, I already have, put it on my uh, flash drive that I have in my car with a ton of songs, so, you know, one of Springsteen's covers will come on every once in a while, and I think that's probably the best way to hear it instead of just hearing all these covers in a row. The main problem I had with it is I didn't think they were, I would, I would, I would have liked it if it would have been more obscure uh, R&B tunes. Of course, maybe they are to some people, but I'm a big R&B fan, so, you know, I already knew the two Jerry Butler songs on here and the Temptations song and the Benny King song, and the Tyrone Davis song, and the Four Tops song, and the Jimmy Ruffin song, or I could go on, you know, but uh, I did like the ones he did with Sam Moore on here, and like I said, he, he didn't really change, change the song as much as I would have liked, also, if, he was, if he's gonna do, you know, uh, popular songs that people would know. But uh, not bad, like I said, I'm going to listen to it, not in a row, I'm gonna to listen to it like on shuffle and hear some different songs and then, you know, a Springsteen song every once in a while of one of his soul covers. So that's my two cents on that one. Uh, one of the things I was most looking forward to was a pre-order I made and it's this album by the Water Boys and it's entitled An Appointment with Mr. Yates. Now, uh, Recently, uh, Rod, the Happy Hippie Vinyl guy, had a thing where we make 10 uh, wishes we have for music in 2023, and one of mine was uh, that they would reissue this album. And right after I did the video, I found out they were reissuing this album. Because it, it had only been on 45 RPM in Europe, uh, only time it was on vinyl. And those were kind of expensive to get, plus you, you know they were in Europe and you had to order them. Uh, at least for me, it was kind of expensive. So I was wishing they would re redo it, and they did, and they uh, actually put it on 33 and a third, and added six more tunes. And all of this album is, uh, the lyrics are provided by the poet William Butler Yeats, and he makes music to uh, those poems. And uh, you'd wonder if that would work but it already had because if you know the, one of their albums, uh, Fisherman's Blues, he did The Stolen Child, which is amazing. And this album is amazing too. Now I just opened this because I, I got it, came out the 5th of December or something like that. I've had it you know, over a week and it's been an Amazon box, but I knew what it was. But uh, luckily Amazon come, came with a download. So even though it only came out December 5th, I've been listening to it in my car before that. And, you know, I know some people don't care about if it's got a download card in it or not, but I always would like to have that. So, because a lot of times I spend more time in my car than I am at home listening to things. So I, I love it to be able to put it, you know, on my flash drive and listen to it in my car. But anyway, this is a great album by the Water Boys. Got the lyrics in there, which are the by William Butler Yeats, music by Tom Scott. Not Tom Scott, Mike Scott. Who's Tom Scott? And it comes a nice polyline sleeve and this kind of off green color. But uh, Cooking Vinyl, I think, did it. And sounds really nice and I'm really happy with this purchase. An appointment with Mr. Yates, the Water Boys. All right, next thing I got to show is my Blue Oyster Cult. This was a used record I picked up. Uh, 
Cultosaurus erectus. <laughs> and it gets like some fossils on the back of that. Uh, Blue Oyster Cult. The main album I knew, of course, was Agents of Fortune, has Don't Fear the Reaper, and kind of more pop oriented. This is more heavy guitar. So you like the heavy guitar part of uh, Blue Oyster Cult. You like this, and I really did like this. I thought the Marshall Plan, Black Blade, Unknown Tongue were some of my favorites on here. But, uh, and this came on the Columbia label. Came out in 1980, that one. And another album This is that I ordered, and I th this is just an amazing thing. And it's called Strange World. And I think that's the Dixie Cups on the cover here. The only bad thing about this is it's got a great booklet inside that's part of the album. So I was reading it and I set it down on something and somehow I kicked it and buggled up that corner. And I like to have nice looking covers, so I was kind of disappointed about that. But uh, anyway, it says, Cosmic and Earthly Doo-Wop and R&B from America and Jamaica. So it's got a lot of different Jamaican and American artists. It's, it's a really cool put together two LP set. I think it's by Pyramid which I think is distributed by Mississippi Records, if you know them. They do a lot of cool R&B stuff. Uh, there's the, the label, label looks like. But uh, it comes in this nice polyline sleeve. I think it came with that. Or maybe I put that in there. I don't remember now. But it's got like, uh, like I said, this neat booklet. We got a cool quote by... Prince Buster, and then you got uh, Sun Ra right there. And nice articles, there's Sun Ra. Sun Ra there. And some really nice long articles on some of these groups. And a lot of these records are really hard to find and kind of expensive if you can find them. The Silver Tones, Richard Marks. Not not that Richard Marks. Um, I'm not sure who that is. I'm sure uh, Doug uh, would be able to tell me. The invitations are down here. You've got uh, the Majestics, who sing the song Strange World. It's a doo-wop tune that uh, is the title track of this album. Uh, also has... Vernon Green and the Phantoms, nice picture there. Um, don't want to show everything on here, but some of the other nice things. You got the Whalers, uh, the Ad Libs there. But these are hard to find uh, songs. You got Ketty Lester there, nice picture of her. There's the, the Dixie Cups again. I think that was them on the cover. Um, Nice article about Prince Buster, and then he's got a song in here he produced, Bunny and Skitter, with the song Chubby. Uh, but, you know, Prince Buster, got him there and there. Um, and you got Clancy Eccles, another interesting character. And then they have some essential recommended books and records. And then at the back, and there's <laughs> Sephora again. He's all over this with a bunch of like UFO books. I think they recommend. I know, but Cosmic and Earthly Doo-Wop and R&B from America and Jamaica. Just really cool set of music on this album, Strange World. Next, I have the second Fleetwood Mac album, Mr. Wonderful. Nice. Picture of Mick Fleetwood on the cover. Not the greatest cover in the world. But uh, a lot of people don't like this that much. This, this was a reissue by Blue Horizon, uh, which also reissued uh, the first Fleetwood Mac album. You know, both these Peter Green, uh, were amazing guitarist on here. And I really like that. It's not as good as the first one, but I think it's still pretty good. Uh, Mr. Wonderful. Speaking of guitar, and this is electric guitar.
This, this is Howlin' Wolf's new album. He doesn't like it. He didn't like his electric guitar at first either, which this has this amazing group of songs uh, with him and people like Hubert Sumlin and Morris Jennings, uh, Philip Church, but, uh, and he does mostly Willie Dixon tunes and three of his own on here, but uh, really great blues album on the Cadet label. I was able to pick up. Also, uh, Aaron with Alamere would be happy that I picked up Greg Kinn's Conspiracy album. Uh, this has the big hit uh, Jeopardy on here. But it's got a lot of cool uh, kind of rock pop songs on here. Uh, I think one of his better albums too. Conspiracy uh, Greg Kinn Band on the Berkeley label. I also picked up an album that I didn't have by Jerry Butler, one of my favorite uh, singers, great voice. Uh, this isn't one of his best albums, The Sagittarius Movement. Uh, the biggest hit on here is Ain't Understanding Mellow. Of course, uh, Living Newton John had that Have You Never Been Mellow. Apparently, Mellow was pretty hard to understand, I guess. I don't know. But uh, True Love, Don't Come Easy is probably another pretty good one on here. But I... That's not my favorite Jerry Butler album, but it was Jerry Butler, so I'll have to get them all, I think. It's on the Mercury label. Of course, the, the best stuff he did, I thought, was on VJ when he did a lot, a lot of work with uh, Curtis Mayfield. So, uh, another album. I had to get to the Loudon Wainwright uh, album, album two, which I didn't have yet. Uh, Got some interesting, Motel Blues, probably the most famous song on here. Uh, Me and My Friend the Cat is on here, as well as Saw Your Name in the Paper, that was pretty good. Uh, Samson and the Warden. Cook That Dinner, Dora. <laughs> it's just mainly him and his guitar. We'd start, you know, mo moving in more in instruments in album three. But uh, not a bad album, but not my favorite Loud and Wayne Wright album either. So like I said, it's got some unique lyrics, and it's just basically him and the guitar and also playing the piano some. And it's on the Atlantic label. Not a really good, this is a really good one here. And this is the debut by Mott the Hoople, uh, entitled Mott the Hoople. Uh, came out in 1970. Uh, there's the band, and this was on the Atlantic label as well. Uh, with some, I love when they have these old uh, sleeves in there, so you can kind of see some of the other albums that were out at the time on Atlantic. Uh, but this one, this album had. It's got three covers it starts off with that are really good. Uh, I really like the Kinks, the instrumental of the Kinks, You Really Got Me. Then he does At the Crossroads, uh, a Doug Sam song. I'm not, uh, I said he, uh, the group, with Ian Hunter. And Laugh at Me, the Sonny Bono tune. They, they stretch it out into a really great rock and roll tune. And Backsliding Fearlessly, one of their own that's really good. And on the second side, uh, Half Moon Bay, a long, long, cool track, and Rock and Roll Queen are two of my favorites on that. But really great debut by uh, Mock the Hoople. Another album I got is Roxy Music's Manifesto from 1979. Uh, Angel Eyes I love and Dance Away. Uh, ain't that so? I think those are the ones I really like on this one. This I've been working on my uh, Roxy Music collection. I think this is the sixth one I have, so I have still have quite a few to go. But uh, let me see the record label on that on Atco. And the last thing I'm gonna talk about is. 
uh, one I got for Record Store Day, but it's this Supremes. And, you know, when I showed them before, I, I bought several of the Motown reissues. And I just thought I'd say this is on 140 gram vinyl. Sounds amazing. I was not uh, familiar with Elemental, the reissue company that did this, but uh, sounds amazing, I thought. And I've looked on Discogs, and I think most of the other people think, think it sounds really good, too. But, like I said, I've already showed that before, but I just thought I would throw my two cents in that I think it sounds pretty darn good. So if you're anybody who's on the fence about those Motown reissues, I'd say uh, go ahead. So that's all I have to say. Hope everyone's doing well. Merry Christmas. If I don't do another video before then, I probably will. But everyone take care.